our ever-changing globe, where wonders of technology have brought us all closer, highlighting our similarities, exposing our tensions and differences. Today, a promising knowledge-based economy leads us to explore new issues of globalization as we seek the path to progress in our increasingly connected world. And from the veil of new world economies, Louisiana has emerged as a center of thought and action around culture and economy, employing over 144,000 people, nearly 8% of the state's workforce. Worldwide, it's an expanding market. While other creative economic models have grown in strength, the light of a cultural economy is just beginning to shine. An economy that recognizes the value of culture celebrates diversity and growth. And while the history of the world tells the story of cultural triumphs and tragedies, it is the resilience of culture that makes the lives of our global societies unique and exciting. A new world cultural economy is emerging. By inviting the world to Louisiana, a recognized cultural centerpiece, we've laid the foundation for a new healthy economy building investment and financing new cultural economic models. We're using culture to find common higher ground across communities and the globe. In 2007, Louisiana convened the World Cultural Economic Forum, a celebration and dialogue of music, arts, culture, and creativity. A bold Louisiana initiative of the Office of Lieutenant Governor and Department of Culture, Recreation, and Tourism. Across the state, communities came alive in celebration of culture as we welcomed the world to Louisiana. The forum culminated in an executive session where cultural experts and world emissaries shared ideas and a vision for the future. Uh, on behalf of the people of the state of Louisiana, I want to welcome the world uh, to our fabulous state. Just a few years ago, there was a discussion of whether we should be putting this under the title of creative economy or cultural economy. And I was lobbying for cultural economy because I think it's more inclusive and I think it, uh, it speaks to the culture of neighborhoods and regions and occupations and uh, different religions and languages. Because in this executive session, there are no pre-programmed outcomes. That America is trending towards becoming uh, something you'd call generica. Um, New Orleans <laughs> is not generic. It is therefore impossible to separate or divorce culture from business in Louisiana or elsewhere. I see New Orleans historically as a place which was in constant movement with generations of people coming in from all over the world. The international community is with us. You no, know, we have a theme, build back better. Uh, we realize how culture uh, can play an extremely important role in bridging gaps between uh, people from different backgrounds. I feel excited for being part of a movement that is going to be known worldwide. Our look ahead was with the understanding that our cultural industries, pre-Katrina, were the fastest growing segment of our economy. Louisiana was positioned to lead the nation in cultural economic development. This conversation has always been about looking forward and looking creatively and being reflective and being self-critical and adapting to a changing world. So when I say the word culture, I'm not just talking about art and history and historic preservation and museums and food and music, all of those wonderful things that give us richness and add value to our lives. I'm speaking about the word culture in its purest sense as well. Culture really was at the core of the rescue of Philadelphia from being a decaying Rust Belt city whose uh, population was continuing to flee to uh, a city that's reinvented itself around its arts, culture, particularly its history. All of that stuff is rooted in our cultures. We all are somebody. We all come from some place. We all are moved by things that sometimes we don't think so much about. 
As we talk about keeping the culture alive, and as we talk about maintaining the roots, and as we talk about all of the opportunities that these things bring, I think it's also important to look at the threats that uh, these types of uh, growths can create because uh, we need to look at sustainability. Some of the best ideas out there come out of uh, a belief in the value and the purpose and the passion you have to try and do something that you believe in. In my case, it's about introducing people to other cultures in a positive way. When we start thinking about attractions all over the world where, you know, I, I work for the Smithsonian Institution, we get over 24 million visitors. Those 24 million visitors generate six billion dollars in the local economy. That's a lot of jobs. When you make something beautiful, and then you share it with other people, you're really getting to the essence of, of human communication, way beyond what words alone can take you. The idea is really simple, and that is that culture means business. We have taken a moment of great challenge to welcome opportunity and the world to Louisiana.